So, have you ever wondered why you'll buy a piece of leather clothing and then a couple of months or maybe a year later, it'll literally start falling apart? I feel like leather has this reputation of being something that's gonna last you a lifetime. It's gonna be amazing. It's a good purchase. So it's really disappointing when you buy something and it starts disintegrating. <laughs> so I wanna break this down for you and show you what kind of leather is gonna last you a really long time and then what kind of leather is really not gonna be that great of a purchase for you. Let's do this. I have this jacket that it's literally been crumbling and falling apart like a plastic park bench in the sun. It doesn't look good anymore and I don't wanna wear it. So obviously that was super disappointing and that's when I figured out there's a lot of different types of leather. And when you're shopping, you're gonna see a big difference in price point. The higher up you go in the grade, the more expensive it's gonna be, but it really is because the quality is just better. So let's talk about leather. At the top of the scale is full grain leather. That's gonna be the top layer of the animal skin. It's gonna have have the most natural grain on it and it's gonna be very breathable. It's the thinnest type of leather. It's gonna get better with age. That's kind of the selling point of it. Basically animal skin is kind of built to last. I mean, it's supposed to be on an animal. It's got all of these amazing like proteins. So it's gonna mold around your body. It's gonna last a really long time. It kind of gets this like aged color to it, especially if you're taking really good care of it. You know, you're conditioning it and making sure that it's on its top shape. That should last you literally your whole life. Right underneath that is top grain leather. Not to be confused with the actual top of the grain leather. I know it's kind of random, but basically what they do since there's a lot of leather where the animal will be, you know, they're just running into things. So they'll have like scar tissue or just blemishes that they want to get rid of. So they're going to sand off that top layer and then imprint a grain on it. That's still good quality leather. It's just not going to be as high quality because you've taken away some of the key outside barrier that the animal naturally has to protect it from the elements. So you're just kind of stripping away some of the natural protections, but you can of course still take good care of it and it'll last you a really long time and it's going to be much less expensive than full grain leather so it's still a good purchase especially if you're being a little bit more budget conscious and then underneath that would be genuine leather which for the longest time i just thought that meant that this was leather it's real live genuine leather not live that's weird <laughs> but I just thought that was them alerting people that this wasn't synthetic leather, it wasn't fake, it was actual leather. But it's not just alerting people of whether or not it's real leather or fake leather, it's actually a grade and that is one of the lowest. They will layer a lot of different leathers together and kind of glue it together to add a little bit more thickness to it. So it can tend to fall apart a little bit easier than some of the other stuff. It still looks awesome, especially if you're wearing something that's not gonna be getting a lot of wear and tear. Like for me, if I'm wearing a leather jacket, I'm not doing anything crazy. Like I'm not riding a motorcycle. I'm not doing hard manual labor. So even with genuine leather, you'll still be fine probably if you're just wearing it for fashion purposes. All right, we gotta talk about the crumbling leather problem. So that brings me to pleather. Fake leather, pleather, vegan leather, whatever you wanna call it. It's the same thing by lots of different names. Just whatever the company thinks will sell the most, that's what they're gonna call it. Yeah, this is definitely the mm -hmm. bottom of all the grades. When I first bought it, I really couldn't tell the difference. I was pretty young, so I didn't really know as much as I do now, but I think it looks good. It gets the point across. I feel like it elevates any outfit. So you'd be fine buying fake leather or vegan leather, especially if you don't wanna wear any animal products. I totally get it, but seriously, this isn't meant to last. This will be made out of one of two things. Either it's gonna be made out of polyvinyl chloride or polyurethane. And how they make this is they make this huge pot of this chemical compound and it starts off as just a white compound and then they add dye to it. So black is the most common, so that's what you're gonna mostly see, but they can literally make anything. A blue leather jacket or white boots or a yellow purse, it can be anything. It's very versatile, so in that way it's great for fashion designers. And they pour it on top of another base fabric, either cotton cotton or polyester, and you can even see on this jacket that there is some of that fabric kind of poking through. That's how you'll immediately know that something is fake when it starts falling apart. I mean, when it starts falling apart, you'll know it's fake, but you'll doubly know it's fake when you can see the fabric underneath. Yeah, that's how I knew I had been duped. They just make this long, huge fake leather pancake. And when it first comes out, it does not look good. It just looks like rubber, basically. I mean, that's kind of what it is, or just like weird plastic. And then they have these rollers with like an imprint, you know, like those little things that you'd have in kindergarten for Play-Doh, where it would like, you roll it and it would make a print on it. It's like that, but on a huge industrial scale. So they roll this thing across it, get that like kind of leather print on 
on it and you can usually tell right away if that's been done to something if it's really uniform. Any natural leather is gonna have some natural variation to it. That's just how it goes. But they can make this in just enormous batches. It'll just be yards and yards and yards of fabric. So we got our bottom grade of leather. It's made out of a chemical compound. It was poured onto a piece of fabric, melted, fused together, printed with some other pattern. Why is it falling apart though? It really does come down to the fact that it's really thin. It's made out of this like rubbery, flimsy, kind of plasticky material. It wasn't designed to last a really long time. It's designed for the fashion industry to kind of pump out pieces on a mass scale. And as amazing as it looks and as versatile as it is, it's not gonna be the piece that you're gonna have in your wardrobe for a really long time. You can try to just be careful with it from the get-go, you know, don't throw it in your dryer, don't iron it for sure, don't fully submerge it, just kind of dab dry it and that'll last you a little bit longer. Don't expose it to a lot of heat for a couple of reasons. First of all, a lot of these jackets will have a do not exposed to flames label on it. As you can see on here, it says to keep it away from fire. And that's because these chemicals that it's made out of, like polyvinyl chloride or polyurethane, are first of all, highly flammable. And then second of all, they really give off a toxic fume and you should not breathe that. So now that this one has bit in the dust. I will have to throw it away, unfortunately, and definitely get another leather jacket. I want this to be something that lasts me a really long time because I love leather jackets, so I will be that person wearing it three times a week. And in that case, I want something that's high quality. So next time you're shopping for anything leather, you will know exactly what you're getting yourself into. Just read the labels and you'll be able to know what each one of those keywords mean and you can get yourself either one of these little fast fashion fun pieces or something that's gonna last you for the rest of your life. If this was helpful for you, please throw me a like and consider subscribing because I come out with fashion related content every single week and hopefully I will see you next time. Let's do this. Boom! Boom, boom, boom.